Welcome, ladies, for our final press conference. The Hawaii Rainbows are represented by Coach Robin Amo, Noreen Yosia, and Brooke Van Sickle. If you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand. We'll bring a microphone your way. Uh, and Coach, if you'd start us off with a brief opening statement, and then we'll go into questions. Thank you. Oh. First, just thank you to uh, Wisconsin for holding, you know, hosting the tournament. It was awesome. Your people here are great. You know, just smiling and happy and helpful. So thank you guys for hosting such a good tournament. Uh, hats off to Nebraska, playing a great game. Um, and thanks to my team. They came out and they just, they played, you know, they played their hearts out. And, you know, obviously there's got to be a winner and a loser. Um, it's not, doesn't feel great, but hats off to my team. They played great. Oh, buddy. Good. Let's go. <laughs> Coach, uh, talk about how you're able to bring in, like, just people like Brooke coming from Oregon and, you know, senior like Bailey. How are you, you and your coaching staff able to bring everybody together and just play so well this season? Talk about you and your coaching staff and the mindset for the season. Uh, it hats off to my, you know, my two assistants. They are, they're out recruiting all the time, um, and just the girls that want to be here, you know. And we we always have conversations with the, you know, the girls that want to come. Like this is, you know, this is not like a cakewalk. Like we we want to train, we want to work hard, and you know, it's not just coming over here and wanting to sunbathe in Hawaii. Um, but I think it started in spring. We had, you know, whatever we had left over from uh, last year. And we went hard in spring, and we had to set a culture of coming in the gym and going 110%. And, you know, they did it. Seniors did it. And when all the, you know, five freshmen came in, Bailey came in, you know, Brooke came in too. The, the one thing that I had to, you know, is, are we going to gel? That's a lot of girls coming in, new girls in and out, five freshmen. And because of the seniors and what, and the, you know, the classmen were here, they did a great job. They came in during the summer and they had to follow them because they had to. Or it's like, okay, you either do this or we're all going to do it with Coach Rob. So they, they all went. And this is, you know, and they play like this. You know, that's a big team out there. And I got some five foot eight, nine outside hitters. You know, I got one that doesn't even hit during practice and they did great. So it shows. I'm Brooke. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brooke, can you talk a little bit about hitting against that big block all night? Um, honestly, um, I didn't really think about it at all. Like, I mean, I'm undersized, and people are always like, "Oh, they're bigger than you." I don't care. Um, jump high, hit hard. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> so. When the match ended, you guys had that, that last huddle and Coach Rob was saying something to you guys and everyone had a smile on their face. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what that moment was like and what you guys said to each other? Um, I'd say it was pretty emotional for um, so pretty much, like, Coach Rob just, like, told us, like, we played our hardest. Like, we fought really hard from, like, the beginning to the end um, as a team. When normally, like, it's hard, I feel like, for teams, like, once they lose, like, the first set or, like, the second, like, teams tend to, like, just kind of, like, slow down. But I feel like we fought the whole way. Um, so she was really proud of us and what we were doing. So as a team, we, I guess, we feel, like, good about our performance. But obviously... It sucks because losing sucks, but um, I mean, hopefully next year will be different. I mean, we could have done things differently, but I mean, I'm proud of my team and what we did and accomplished. Yeah. Brooke, what was the end of the first set like? You had a couple set points. Nebraska, you staved off a couple that Nebraska had. What was the emotion like playing in that high intensity of set? Um, Honestly, like personally, and I think my team feels this way too. I think we love it because it's just like 
we play volleyball for those moments where it's just like super intense and like we want to be there like neck and neck with the team because it just makes winning feel much better, I guess. But yeah, it can be stressful, but I mean, it's why we play volleyball, so. Coach, how, how big of a stride do you think this program made this season with these seniors, with these freshmen and the newcomers? And how, when you look down five years from now, I mean, how important will this 2019 season be to accomplish what, what you want to do here? Uh, so this is only my third year here. Uh, it was rough the first year. And like I said, it's just about the culture and them buying in uh, each year and just getting better each year. Um, and I told the juniors, I'm like, you guys got really big shoes to fill. You know, these guys did great from spring. And, yeah, I'm proud of them. Coach, can you what, talk about the end of the first set? What was the emotion with that and how that would affect the team going forward to be in such a high stakes one and come up a little bit short there in that first set? Yeah. I think all year I've been telling them, hey, we're short. We got to dig balls. We have to ball control, dig balls, keep going. Short, guess what, short people, guess what tall people don't like? They don't like you using them, and you just keep going, you know? That's all you can do. You can't hit over them, you're shorter than them, then tool them, use them here, use them there. And you got to play defense, and, you know, I don't know, that's what they did. And they kept going, they kept going back and forth, you know? It could have gone either way. Either way it could have gone. But that high, you know, in that set, and it's just going back and forth, one ball, one ball, and that high, and then it's like, ah, and now you got to start all over again, you know. And we came back in the second, and, you know, a couple balls here and there in the beginning. But like I said, my team, they just keep fighting. They're down, like, I don't know, 4-1, 5-1, and they keep fighting. That's them, and that's the culture that they built, you know, and – Hopefully, you know, the next, e each year, it just gets better. Yeah. Noreen, I remember watching a special uh, on how you said that one of your favorite moments was against your freshman year uh, when you went all the way to um, playing Minnesota in the regionals. How would you rate this year in playing this game versus that time when you were playing Minnesota? I'd say um, this moment tops <laughs> my freshman year, definitely. Just um, like Coach Rob said, um, just putting on a fight out there. I mean, it was obvious we are shorter than that team, Nebraska. But when we were playing out there, it definitely the height didn't really matter to, to, to us. So I don't know, just playing this match um, – being a senior, yeah, it sucks, but I mean, that's a memorable game for us, definitely. And um, yeah, I'm just very proud of everyone. Time for one more. Is there any? Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, Noreen and um, Brooke, I just wanted you folks to comment on just the pride playing for Hawaii. Uh, Brooke, both of your parents played collegiate volleyball in Hawaii. You know, your mom played for HP, your dad for Hawaii, and Noreen, you know, you have all lots of family in Hawaii. Talk about the pride, about just representing the state. Um, I mean, it definitely makes the sport of volleyball more meaningful. I mean, <coughs> what we wear on our shirts isn't just a logo. I mean, behind that is such a bigger meaning of just family and work ethic and just love all around. And um, that's something that I would say this team did a very good job of grasping very quickly and just gelling together and <coughs> representing the whole state of Hawaii. And yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, both my parents played in Hawaii and like they always told me growing up like how special it is to play in Hawaii for the university and so I want to see it for myself, and this is honestly like one of the best decisions of my life, like guaranteed. I'm 
so honored to be able to have came here thanks to you guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a pride thing. Like before I was came here, everyone was telling me like, hey, like we grind it out. Like that's how Hawaii is. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna roll with it. I love it. Cause I just like the way like we come to the gym, we work hard. And so then we can compete with big teams like this. Again, the whole sh short thing, like it doesn't matter. We play with the chip on our shoulder. We know we can do it. So yeah. Thank you, ladies. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.